with its four legs and wheels. So this design really gives us the power. Inspection, okay. security, firefighting. Today I got a chance to see the guy in the deep robot. So they are in the uh, CS 2026. So we have a chance to talk with their guys. So could you tell me something about this one? Could you uh, do a brief introduce for this guy, this one? What do you call this guy? All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Deep Robotics. So right now in front of the camera, this is our latest model M20 M Pro. And it's one of our most advanced robotics model right now. So as you can see, there are four wheels instead of legs. So it really gives the robots much more power and flexibility to move around. And a lot of times when we meet those kind of high obstacles or stairs, it has the mode developed for those kind of scenarios and environment. They'll be able to climb up almost a meter stairs or obstacles, which we can see is right in front of the robot here. <laughs> Wow, wow. It's awesome. That's cool. That's what we just saw. Let's do climb up side of the high obstacle with its four legs and wheels. So this design really gives us the power to complete a lot of the missions in the real world, including delivery, logistics, rescue, patrol, security, a lot of the scenarios and environment that you can imagine. Also, this robot is to be able to do a lot of delivery and is able to run for 10 miles. Its battery life can allow that to run 10 miles and carry on 15 kilograms object and continue to run 10 miles distance. So what's this one? This is LiDAR or something? So we have um, we have camera on both sides of the dogs, both in the front and in the back. We both have the camera, so there's not really a front side or a back side. Each of the side, you know, can move forward or backward or climb up the stairs or high obstacles. So what kind of sensory is called the node? Sensors. Yeah, sensory or... So after we complete some development and mount some additional payload on top of it, it is able to do autonomous navigation or obstacles avoided. So when it's completing some missions like, you know, patrolling around, when it meets an obstacle or something block its way, it is able to find a direction or a way to go through that object instead of being blocked in front of it and cannot move anymore. Okay, cool. How much it could load, payload? You mean how much it can carry? Yes. 15 kilograms. 15 kilograms. Oh, almost like a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And 15 That's kilograms, it can run for miles. That is very powerful. That's its battery life. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. So we also got a chance to take a look at this one. This one is the X30. So could you introduce uh, this one to a briefly introduce? Yep, definitely. So right now in front of the camera is one of the another latest model X30. And it is one of the biggest robot dog model in deep robotics. So it can carry a really high amount, large amount of payload and weight on top of it. So on the top, we can mount a lot of different kind of payload on top of it, including like cameras, sensors, arms, and all different kind of stuff. Um, depending on what our customer really wants and what kind of mission they want to complete. So this dog, just like the M20 Pro, it is also able to do complete a lot of mission, including rescue, inspection, patrol, and security. But it has even more sensors than an M20 Pro. So what's the payload for this one? Is it 100 of pounds? Payload. 100 How much of pounds. It can carry. 25 to 30 kilogram? kilogram. 25 to 30 kilogram. That's about a six. 20 kilograms maximum carriage for 85 kilograms. 
Okay. Well, so this one could do the backflip or not? No. It's no two use cases. Okay. Yeah. So for B two B use cases, we don't do a lot of entertainment uh, positions because okay. uh, it has to be uh, like a derivative stability is very important. So small ones, mainly for entertainment, commercial. This is for B two. Yeah. Oh. So that's the, what scenario you deploy this one? What kind of use case you deploy this one? Power to the inspection. Our plan? Inspection, okay. security, firefighting. Yeah. Security. Yeah. Security. Okay, yeah. security. So uh, what, what about the battery? How long it going to last? Four to 4.5 hours. Four five hours. It's uh, how much the recharge is automatically oh, back to... What about to autonomous charge? And you yeah. can also swap the battery. Okay. So can you go back, go to back, go back to the charge station automatically charge? Yes. You can. There's a okay. charging station and you can locate a charging station itself. It's a wireless charge or a wired charge. What is so that? wireless or wired? Wireless. Wireless. For that charging station. Okay. It would just go on top of the charging station, sit down, and it would just charge automatically. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's very cool. That's, uh, that's definitely not the consumer one. It's actually the industrial one. Yeah, that one is the consumer one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, Thank you. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.